guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video today is a really special day a year ago today so a year ago on september 19th i had my very first lesson on zelda so i've officially been writing her for a year now so that's really cool to think about i think that's probably about the longest i've ever ridden a horse for like a whole year because i used to like jump around a lot I mean, maybe I rode like one of the other horses longer than a year, but I feel like a year is probably like pretty close to the max I've ever ridden a horse. So I don't know. That's pretty cool. So for those of you who don't know, this is Zelda. She is a buckskin paint and I ride her for like shows. I do hunter jumper on her. I love her so much. Oh my goodness. She is amazing. So it's really cool. I've been riding her for a year now. Um, I hope my microphone is not making too much noise. I tried to move it down a little bit more because my hair kept touching it <laughs> and it would make noise so hopefully maybe that will be better okay but yeah so i've been writing her for a whole year now so that's really cool so i decided i would do like a little montage i guess of like all the videos i have ever had with her with me riding her to kind of see like our progress over the year obviously i did not put all the videos in because all the videos I've ever gotten with her, I put them all in and it was over an hour long. Yeah, so I had to take some out and it's only like 20 minutes now, so it, it's okay. It'll be fun. But yeah, so that's what's going to go on today. We are going to watch it. I'm basically going to kind of like react to it. I kind of know how this is going to go because I kind of know where I started, but like there's a lot of videos. Oops, I just bumped the camera. There were a lot of videos from like my first lessons. I don't really remember how they went. so. It'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes we just recently started like i want to say looking good <laughs> but like they're i don't know we've been all over the place really but yeah so what we're gonna do we're just gonna watch the video and then yeah so we're just gonna go ahead and get into it so make sure you guys like this video and if you're not subscribed make sure you subscribe right now anyway real quick the lighting in this room is kind of really weird like you can see shadows on the wall I have a chandelier. Um, let me see if I can show you. There. Yeah, so it, we just got it a little while ago. And it makes like really it makes the lighting really weird. So yeah, if you guys are wondering, like it looks weird. But anyway, let's just jump right into this. I put together a bunch of videos from us writing. So yeah, let's just go on to everything. So yeah, I've got the videos right here. I'm gonna watch them along with you guys. It's just me playing right right here in front of me and yeah so we can watch we kind of suck but yeah this is a no judgment place so no judging my writing okay here we go this is my first lesson on our my gosh that feels like so long ago my seat i cannot decide if i like my seat or not my arms are very like out there but you know my first lesson on her, first time riding like a green horse. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. <laughs> I remember my first lesson. Oh my goodness, we like kept taking this jump that we weren't supposed to take. Like she kept pulling me towards it. Like it was hard keeping her in that circle. We're still not much better at circles. Okay, so this was like a little while after. This was a few weeks after my first lesson. <laughs> the little pink squirrel. Oh my goodness, she's so cute. That was like my first like super matchy matchy outfit. I loved it so much. I did that with her all the time. It like all matched so perfectly. I don't have that shirt anymore though, so it's like darn it. This was a while later. This was our out of control lesson. I remember this. We were like running around the arena. I could not control her. Did not get that part on camera because um person who was filming i think it was probably my mom or my dad they were scared so they didn't film this was like our first indoor lesson with her yeah we did that a lot we missed all the fences that one was good i like that one but yeah we did miss fences a lot this was our first like line i think it was kind of chaotic but you know, I think that was the first time like doing a line and she, her not missing it. Cause that was when she was like still really new to jumping. <laughs> so yeah. I remember doing that one. 
Oh yeah, this was when the gyms were like a hexagon, I think. I think that's a hexagon, I don't know. That was a fun lesson. No, not the Christmas one. Oh my gosh, I used this rainbow ear, um, not rainbow. This reindeer ear bonnet with her, and like, for all the weeks I rode in December, I put it on and wore this like, red sweatshirt. It, it was cute to an extent, but then I did it so much and like, it just makes me cringe now. Like, oh, okay. Whatever, whatever. That's what was my first time using that uh, saddle pad. I think this was probably like January, February. Um, oh, my feet. I can't tell if I like it or not. Ooh. I am like so judgmental of my writing. That happened a lot too. <laughs> it still happens a lot. It still happens a lot. At two point, I had so much. We struggled with that for so long. Those are actually not breaches. For those of you wondering, they're leggings. That's why it looks like I'm sliding around so much. I like couldn't find my breeches, so I put pants on. I couldn't find jeans either, so I put leggings on. Now I'm sliding around a lot, but it wasn't too bad. And they were warm. And it was like winter time, so. I was obsessed with this set after I got it for Christmas. Like, I used it so much. So much. <laughs> but it's not like I hate it anymore, but I don't use it as much because, like, I don't. But yeah, I don't know. This was my first, like, two foot fence with her ever. I was really nervous. Like, when I first started, like, jumping her, I was really nervous. Cause, like, I didn't really know what she was gonna do because, like, she was green. She's not mean. Thankfully, she's, like, super sweet. But, like, we still, like, did a lot. Oh, yeah, her long spots are so funny. They're, like, long, but not. I don't know. This was our first bareback canter. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. See, look, there's the set again. I did it so much. She's so pretty. I'm so glad I get away. That was when I couldn't figure out, like, my seat. Like, I was always in between, like, half seat and full seat. I never knew what to do, so I would always do full seat because I had more control. But then, like, her light seat, like, I couldn't figure out an in-between. Her all the way out of the saddle, or her, um, wow. We almost fell on our faces a lot. Happened a lot. This was my first two, three fence. I remember this. I looked like a chicken. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I look like a chicken. And this is when we started getting a little more confident, like both of us. Still don't look like super good, but we were both definitely getting a lot more confident. Look at her. I guess this is like a pleasure ride. Like I just rode her for fun. I rode her bareback. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. That jump was really good. That was like my first ever like decent release. Oh my gosh. This is our first ride outside. Well, not first ride, but first ride like of the year. I think it was like in like March, maybe. Yeah, and like we were doing like a mini flat class, like a fake flat class. My sister was like being the judge or whatever. It was chaotic. It made me really nervous for shows, but her transitions were so good. But yeah, it was fun. I love riding outside. Oh yeah, the flying change. We were all over the place. She does like little flying changes, but she has not she can't like do her back lead like change her back lead as quickly or as good as like she can't do both of them she always only does like the front so we're working on it but yeah it was kind of chaotic oh this was my vest oh my gosh i love my vest i got it i was obsessed with it i used it so much it was so cute like i can't i don't i don't use it in the summertime but now that it's getting like colder i'll be able to use it a little more so that's exciting <laughs> that color is so cute on her like the light purple it still is definitely one of my favorites oh that was an oxer i didn't realize that look at that all of our big jumps are always so messy that was a two three oxer i looked like a chicken look at that one. i make fun of my writing i say i look like a chicken or a duck it's always one of those is this my best again mm -hmm. This is something I love. I love this color on her. I think it's cute. She definitely looks 
my bag. She definitely looks a lot better in like bright colors, but I love that like burgundy color on. So cute on like the This is like a lesson before a show. Is that it? This is my first show with her. I love my show equitation. It's always so good in plot work. See, look at how good that is. And it like never looks like I like during lessons. I look like chicken. Our jumping is not yeah, our jumping at shows aren't that good. With all that those show nerves. But our flat classes went so good this year. Except one of them. But that's okay. And the judges all seem to like really like her at shows. Um, especially in the flat class, because you know she kinda like sticks out oh, yeah. My bad. I don't know what I'm supposed to say about that. Like I get angry inside when I see that in Nelson Friends. Like This line, I remember this line. It was so good. Like look at that. Oh my gosh. That was good. I forget what we placed. But it was it wasn't bad. That was her first time jumping a flower box. That was when I first started working on like my release. And it actually looked pretty decent. Start figuring out my seat. Sort of. I have a thought. It's hot in here. Ugh. Okay, I remember this jump. I would edit this one so much. It's like it looks so good. Look at that. I mean, look at that. Like that's like one of those months in the lifetime jumps for me. Like my jumps never look that good. And the release was like, oh my gosh. Oh, okay, I remember this. We were trying to do a bendy line and she was like freaking out. Like the bendy line to the two jumps. She had never done like, she's done bendy lines like that, but not like that intense. And that was like her first time doing one like that intense. So she was like really like, <sighs> like, but she ended up like doing it. Like, I think, I think this is the clip she does it in, but I don't remember. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, she's so cute. This is our second show. I love that show application is back. I feel like I look like that all the time, you know. This was the show she was like super lazy at. Like look, look at how she's like crawling. I don't remember why she was so lazy. But it was bad. Like I was like I don't know. It was nice because then I could like work on like my position more, but then like so I didn't have to like worry about her like running or anything, but like <laughs> she was so slow. But the the judges didn't seem to mind too much. Yeah, I don't think so because I think this was the show that I got um, a first in my flat class. So I don't, I didn't, I don't think they cared too much. But, like the jumping wasn't bad either. Yeah, that was pretty good. That was like, we started working on like two, three more, but with it being show season and us only showing 18 inches, we didn't do a ton of it. But this lesson, we had like two, three, two foot, like different things set up with flower boxes. It was only her, like her second time doing flower boxes, and she was so good. Yeah. So that was cool. I remember that lesson. It wasn't that long ago. I'm saying like I remember it like it's been like a year. Or more than a year. I guess, I guess it, for some it's been longer, but... That was my first bareback jump. That was my first bareback jump on her. I can't talk. I'm like trying to flush myself. Oh, that was my first 2-6 with her. We were doing a Chase Me Charlie. That was my birthday. Oh, and there's my highest jump. It's 210. 
Um, and it was her highest jump too. Let me look at that again. I looked so bad. The height really scared, like surprised her. It didn't scare her. She still took it. I was really surprised we made it that far, but yeah, that was a fun lesson. Oh yeah, look at me and my good looking. So this was a stressful show. I was so like my stirrups were so short. I look like a jockey. What am I thinking? Why are my stirrups so short? Oh yes, my sparkly equestrian saddle pad. That was like my first no. Mm, that was my first time using it. And our Miss Jump. Mm-hmm. That's a lot. She that was like her first like all of the gems were 2-3. That was her first time doing a whole course of 2-3, and she was like, yeah. This was an interesting show. This is when we placed last in our flat class because she put in front of the judge. So we got last. It's kind of disappointing because flat class is like we always do so good at. But oh. Yeah, that was an interesting show. I think this was the show I fell off at. I think it was, yeah. It was very interesting. Not a lot going on that day. But I think I got like a sixth in the flat class, which was last, because we only had six people. Then like a fourth or a fourth and a first. I think we got first in like that round, I think it was. So yeah, I guess it wasn't too bad, but it was stressful. I fell off. Don't you love bareback tanners? Oh my gosh, her tanner is like so good. Like I love riding her bareback. My hair is bothering me. So yeah, I love riding her bareback. She is so much fun. This was not that long ago. This was like just a few weeks ago. Oh yeah, that was her first gymnastics with the like a bendy line to a jump, and she was like fast that day. This was like only like two lessons ago or something like that. With our 2-3 jump. I mean, no, that was 2-6. With our 2-6 jump. Looked so good. But with... she, We don't jump, like, very big. And we're just now starting to jump bigger because um, we're trying to work towards next year. We're going to show 2-3. I'm, like, rocking my chair. Um, so she was, like, not really wanting to jump 2-6 because she's not used to it. But whenever we did, it looked pretty good. And our 2-3 oxer. That was the first time we took it, I think. With her flying change, she did a full flying change. She never does. Oh, I like that clip. Look at that. My quotation in that. But like, I've been working on my release a lot. That was hard to do. She would not like trot before the pole. There was originally two poles, but like she would not trot. She was so excited to jump. This is, I think, my most recent lesson ever. Oh, I know what's going to happen, yeah. You guys love that. Her little, like, long spot and explosion. Look at that. Look at how big that is. She was so excited to jump, and I'm not sure why she took so long at the spot. And she did a flying change. This was our second time we took it. Definitely looked a lot better, I think. Yeah. And, like, okay, I'm obsessed with, like, belts and riding. So, like, like, for English... Like that belt that I have on, like, oh my goodness, I'm obsessed with that. All the time I use it. It's like, that is my favorite clip of me riding. Do you see that? I need to, I need to show you guys. Oh my gosh, it's so good. <sighs> my legs weren't that good. My legs were moving a lot, but. See, that one wasn't bad either. Oh, that was so good. Oh, that's the end. That went by a lot faster than I thought it would. Those last few jumps, Oh my gosh, we would like struggle. I would always constantly be getting like left behind, thrown out of the saddle when I used to jump her. Oh my gosh, like we sucked. We we sucked. So recently I've been really working on like my position, like just for flat work. I've done a lot of flat work over the summer. So I've really gotten to like work on like my seat, especially at the canner, because her canner is very like, it kind of like pushes you up, I guess. So you're like up here constantly. So, like, it's hard for me to find the in-between from being all the way out of the saddle to, like, full seat. So, like, I'm trying to find that in-between. So, I'm not constantly, like, standing. So, I've been really working on that. And it seems to have paid off a little bit. And, like, we've definitely gotten a lot better. It's crazy to see, like, our progress. And it was only one year. Like, that was only one year. And, like, we're already, I don't want to say we're good. Because we're not, like, good. But, like, we're okay. 
So it will be, if I keep riding her and maybe I'll ride her, or maybe I'll go on till two years. So if we get to two years, I'll definitely do another video like this. Maybe it'll be more exciting. Who knows what we'll be doing in another year. That would be weird to see. But like you can tell like over time how my chew point got, got better. I really worked on that. I was always so like mad about how my two point looked, especially my release, because yeah, I was just never happy with my release. So I'm like trying to work on it, but like, there's just so much to think about. Ugh. But yeah, we have not missed a lot of fences lately, so you know that's good. Usually in lessons we would be like, I just pulled my hair. <laughs> Usually in lessons, like we would just be like galloping around the arena, and I had like no control over ever. Ever. So, like, we have that. I definitely have control now. Most of the time, sometimes she's a little excited, but I'm definitely more confident than I was. When I first started riding her, I sort of had my confidence, but not really, because, like, the year before, I, like, lost all my confidence. So, I just moved to, like, a super, like, easy horse where I, basically I just had to keep him moving because he was really lazy. He doesn't really do anything. His name was Dallas. That's Dallas. He was super cute. I moved to him because I, like, lost all my confidence. Um, so, like, I rode him for like a show season and then like I moved to her and I, at first I was nervous because like I had never ridden like a green horse before and like she was kind of like pretty green at that time like she kind of was so I never like I wasn't like super good at jumping yet because like I had just done like trot cross rails and like then I'm gonna do like 18 inches where you're supposed to canter with a horse that doesn't know how to jump because she used to be like a cattle horse or I think she was like a cattle horse or some western thing so yeah she was definitely not used to jumping so it was really interesting <laughs> to ride her it's definitely nervous it took me quite a while to get used to her but i guess we'll see like what happens now i'll keep you guys updated with a bunch of like stuff that happens with us mm -hmm. i don't know i just like i love her ever since like i started attacking her up I started tacking her up and I took a bunch of pictures of her while I was tacking her up because I was like, oh my gosh, this is like the prettiest horse I've seen ever. And like now half my, more than half my camera roll is of Zelda. She's just cute, okay? Like, okay, yeah. This is my favorite picture of her. That is random to share, but it is. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you want to see more videos like this, well, you'll probably have to wait till next year. But... <laughs> If you want me to do like more like reacting videos like this, let me know in the comments below. I will definitely do more. I don't know what that will look like. Maybe you guys want me to react to your guys' riding. I can also like react to like horse fails. I think that would be pretty cool if I could like watch a video of like horse fails and then like react to it. I think that would be really fun. So let me know what you guys want below. And if you have any video ideas like in general, definitely let me know because this was a lot of fun and I need more video ideas. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy watching me and Zelda's progress over the years. Over the year? It's only been one year. I used to, like, wonder why, especially when we struggled a lot. Like, I would wonder, like, why am I on her? <laughs> like, I cannot, I clearly can't do this. But here we are. We're fine. We're, we still struggle. Obviously, we still struggle, especially now that we're jumping bigger jumps and she's not, like, super used to that. But she has gotten so much better at jumping. Like, if you guys could tell from the video like we used to like if she ever took a long spot she would like fall on her face or if she tried to do like a lead change over the fence she would like fall on her face so like now she can do changes over the fence almost perfectly yeah but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed today's video before you go if you guys did enjoy this video here are two videos that you guys can go check out if you guys like this and if you guys did like this make sure you guys like this video and subscribe so you can see more of our progress together so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.